Hello everybody, I'm Chand from Talambad. Welcome to our new video for Capgemini preparation. In this video, we are going to check the previous year questions for the verbal ability round of Capgemini. As we know, Capgemini is hiring 2022 batch students. We will be creating videos on YouTube to prepare for Capgemini. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for instant updates. Also, join our social media handles like Telegram group, Instagram page and WhatsApp group where we constantly update placement preparation and off-campus updates on our pages. Links to all these handles are given in the description below. So without any further ado, let us start with the very first question. Okay, let us answer the question. Mark the option which best expresses the sentence in passive voice. That means the given sentence must be active voice. Then only they're asking us to convert into one of the following passive voice. Right, everybody? Let us try to check whether the given sentence is an active or not. Now, when can I say some sentence is an active voice? When the subject performs the action. Whenever the subject performs the action, it is known as an active voice. Right? For your information, I'm telling you. Whenever the subject receives an action, that sentence will be known as a passive voice. For example, Gandhi led the movement. Now, Gandhi led. Gandhi did what? Gandhi did a thing called leading. So that's what an active voice. The movement was led by. The movement is a subject which is done by. So which is received an action called leading. So it is done by whom? Gandhi. So that's how it is a passive voice. I hope you understood both the difference, everybody. Similarly, here also, one of the boys in the group will sing. So here, the subject is one of the boys in the group. Right? Will sing. They'll do what? They'll perform an action called singing. So that's how we can say the given sentence in active voice. So the other part must be passive voice. Now you tell me what happens in conversion of voices. So in conversion of voices, the subject will become to object's place and the object goes to the subject's place and the verb will become a V3 form, the past participle, right? The past participle, right everybody? And we'll have, if any object is there, we'll have a word called by first one. If you observe the question, the subject is one of the boys in the group and the object is the anthem. What they're going to sing, they're going to sing the anthem. That means anthem is my object. So object comes to the subject place. That will be what? The anthem. It's starting with the anthem. So the anthem will be sung. Now V3 form of sing is what? Sing, sang, sung. Sung is the V3 form. Right? By, by who? One of the boys in the group at the end of the memorial. So that's what says option C must be the answer. Everybody. I hope you understood in a better way. Look, no need to read every sentence actually. We can just check. Sing must be converted to sung. The only option which contains sung is option C. That's what my answer. No need to check each and every line also. So that's how we can easily answer any question without reading the entire sentences at all, which saves a lot of time. So you can check the rules. The rules are what? Subject goes to the object place, object comes to the subject place, and the verb will become a parse participle. Right? So that's how we can easily answer any question on voices, everybody. I hope you understood the question. So here we have a question where we have to choose the best replacement for the underlying part of the sentence. Right? Let us try to read the sentence and understand it. Anybody interested in the use of laptops can learn a lot if you have access to a personal laptop. Now tell me everybody what would be the answer. Now I know again you are uh, completely shocked why there are no options. I wantedly hit them. Now you try to answer or just guess which word can fit over here. And then after that, I'll just give you the options. I hope you did. Now I'm going to show you the options. Now you tell me what is the correct answer. Here. Actually, what happened, I'll tell you. This is one of the sentence correction that we have to do now. Correct? Why? Because we have to replace the word means we have to correct the sentence only. Now there is a certain rule called pronoun and noun agreement or an understood pronoun and noun. Now, if you observe here, what is the noun we have here? The noun is anybody. Anybody interested in the use of laptops can learn a lot if you have access to a personal PC or personal laptop. Now, anybody here is a subject. Now, tell me anybody is what subject everybody? If you have, if you means a plural, as you have used a plural in the pronoun, you have used a plural helping word. That's fine. But then is a subject is plural or singular? Always remember whenever we have anyone or anybody or anything. Similarly, someone, somebody or something, no one, nobody or nothing or everyone, everybody or everything. This always plays a singular role. 
right this always plays a singular role always do remember this point a lot right because this is very very important look i'm just considering them as a single unit whenever i say anybody somebody nobody or everybody i'm considering this some one single unit so we'll consider this as one single unit so one single unit means it's always singular so here i have a singular subject but tell me what is the pronoun that is used the pronoun that is used is plural pronoun right so you use a second person plural so this is definitely a wrong sentence so i cannot prefer none as the option so definitely there should be some replacement now what is a replacement look anybody but do you know what kind of person male or female no so that's how we use in place of you we can use he or she anyone that he or she right now he or she is a singular right is a singular nouns or a singular subjects now tell me for singular subjects can we use half no half is not ending with yes so it's for plurals in verbs words words ending with yes will be treated as singular for example is was has place reads etc etc whereas not ending with yes will be treated as a plural so here he or she i must say has but not have so the answer for this question is option a everybody i hope you understood this concept a lot right people let us try to answer the third question mark the option which expresses the given sentence in a indirect speech now we know direct speech or always with quotations and indirect speech without quotations now i cannot eliminate any option because all the options are not having any quotation marks right but people why i chose this question i'll tell you look actually i won't read this question completely i'll just know the rules whenever we are converting from direct to indirect right the first thing that changes is a tense tense changes when you are converting the second thing that changes is pronouns and nouns pronouns and nouns and the third that is one more important point that is time and place everybody these things definitely get changes right now tell me look if you observe i'm not at all reading the question i'm just observing the word called last night now last night is like a time right last night is like a time so here last night must be replaced to what exactly the previous night these are the conditions you have to follow the previous night or the before night so if you observe the same last night is given so i can simply eliminate the option similarly the last night simply eliminated right so now i have two options which i can say that are possible what are the previous night and previous night right and i'll tell you why they can be easily eliminated also i'll tell you with other rules also but first i can eliminate through the time changes right now coming to the next what changes tense changes now we already discussed in our previous videos if you haven't watched please go through them and watch them right so in that videos what i have discussed is whenever you have a past tense in the direct just replace this past whatever the four tenses we have with past right simple past past perfect past perfect continuous and all the word called past will be replaced with a word called past perfect right so definitely everybody whenever we have a past perfect tell me what is the word that must be there for sure in the sentence exactly that is had perfect words are nothing but has have had whereas past we only use had right so i can easily eliminate the options which are not having had why because the given sentence if you observe did you watch did you this just says about the simple past tense so simple past must be converted to what the past perfect into the indirect so past perfect means the only word that should have is had now so i can eliminate the options which are not having had that means option d eliminated option a eliminated so now as of now what are the options that got eliminated a got eliminated because of not having had and also not having the previous time now c got eliminated because of not having the previous term right and d got eliminated because not having the had word so the only option which is having both that is had as well as the previous night is option b and that's how we can easily answer the question without looking all the sentences right everybody i hope you loved the trick so please try to follow the same in order to save a lot of time let us answer this question which part of the sentence given below has an error in it? now the given sentence is he have a factory in his town which is very big now you just let me know in which part we have an error just in the previous questions we have already discussed this point if i'm not wrong it is the subject verb agreement right this comes in the sentence correction but not like a underlined part so this is a different question completely a sentence correction now what is subject verb agreement when the subject is singular the verb must be singular 
when the subject is plural the verb must be plural that's why it is called as an agreement agreement means what in a single in a solo understanding right so that's what it says now here he he is what everybody he is a singular subject i have a singular subject so with the singular subject i can only use a helping verb of also singular verb what is that now can i say he have a pen or he have a factory no i cannot do that so it should be he has whenever he is used it should be only has that is used whenever we want to say now present tense everybody i can use had also but that should be in the past but as the sentence is in simple present tense i am using has everybody i hope you understood the point it so never use he have it's always he has so the error is in part a part a is an option so that's what my answer for this question is okay let us try to answer this question read the statement given below and decide whether it is a fact an inference or a judgment now these are the kind of questions where most of the companies don't prefer but capgemini does so capgemini especially takes these kind of questions called whether the given statement is a fact or an inference or a judgment now before answering this question i'll give you a quick information regarding all these three points now fact when can something be a fact when it is true actually but coming to this point here facts are the things which can be easily verified whether it is true or not now how can we verify using some figures or like numbers etc using some figures means like uh, if i say in 2019 there is a cyclone happened now i can verify that no so that's of the figures are so the figures or the numbers or i can say statistics the stats right or i can go through some universal facts also the sun rises in the east what is that it's a universal fact which never changes so that's called as a fact i hope everybody understood what actually facts means now which can be easily verified using the figures or the numbers or the statistics right coming to the judgment for example let me take a small statement over here i felt so sad about the situation about the situation let us take the afghanistan situation which is currently happening right so they were completely attacked no so let us take the situation now what i am saying i am saying that i felt so sad now tell me will everybody feel the same on the planet earth no the one who occupied or the one who conquered will feel sad about it no right their opinion might be different my opinion might be different so here it's all about the opinion everybody so feeling the felt felt is nothing but the feeling no so feelings are nothing but the opinions so opinions get changed through out whether it might be mine or yours or anybody others so this gets changed through out right everybody so opinions might be different from one and other so here these are called opinions opinions are always judgments everybody the judgments right now when coming to the last part inference so what is this inference inference is something where we draw a logical conclusion what is that conclusion it's nothing but a judgment look when you are giving conclusion that means that you are actually giving a final verdict so that's like a judgment but judgment using facts from the given statement so here we have a small formula kind of inference is always equals to it should have facts as well as it should have judgment then only we can consider it as an inference now coming back to the statement everybody the statement says the direct trains to the neighboring country makes traveling at affordable now people look i can say like the rates the ticket price for you for me or for everybody remains the same right so can i say it can be easily verified whether the ticket rates are same or not yes i can but then is it about that point about the price of tickets no right it's all about the affordable look might be the tickets are affordable for me might not be for you right everybody so it can be affordable for me it cannot be affordable for you or any other so it's all about the opinion i have towards the traveling ticket prices right or towards the traveling so here as i am talking about opinion completely so it's nothing but my judgment everybody so that's how we can answer the question is option c i hope everybody understood this point right everybody and i hope you understood regarding the fact and inference and the judgment let us answer the question what is the synonym of social now synonym you have to give the same meaning of the word called social in general whenever we talk about social it's not a subject first of all so social when we say social what we get actually right we are referring to a society if i'm not wrong now society is nothing but a group of people right or i can say a public so now people when i say so social does it mean 
like friendly you are being friendly or talkative or communicative or community out of these four options which fits the best as a synonym of social look when i say social that doesn't mean you are friendly or a talkative or a communicative person it's all about you are being a community or you are being a group of people or a public so that says option 4 must be the answer for the word of synonym of the social right everybody okay if you observe the question over here so we have a pair of jumble where we have to arrange them in a meaningful order right now so you just pause the video and try to answer on your own and then check with the video whether your answer is correct or not i hope you did now coming to the question here we have four sentences where they have to be rearranged into a meaningful order right so you tell me what could be the links that i can get over here from the four statements if you observe there is a certain link called most essential purpose is to help reporters and residents learn learn what everybody learn what is the question so learn the definition of the operations can i say that or not or learn expertise to portal no it is not giving me a proper meaning or learn all the voting polls no so the only one that has a link with learn is the definition so learn the definition of what learn the definition of the operations and the election so that says definitely there must be a link of one and three now if you observe the only option which has one three link is option c that's what has the answer right now if you just read the statement it says although voting polls draw a great deal of concentration for whom look as they are talking about some people who have to have a great deal of concentration for whom for their expertise for their expertise who are really good in terms of a knowledge so for their expertise to do what to foretell the outcome of the polls their most essential purpose so their most essential purpose is to help reporters and residents learn the definition of the operations and election that is what the answer so that says option c must be definitely the meaningful order everybody let us answer the last question of the video mark the option containing the sentence that is grammatically correct that means everybody out of the four given how many would be correct exactly only one is correct the other three are wrong now you just pause the video and try to guess an answer or tell me an answer i hope you did if you observe the statements here as you are able to read there is a comparison that is happening right now here if you observe greatest great greater have been used now these are the three degrees of comparison if i am not wrong three degrees of comparison right everybody now could you just recollect what are the three degrees of comparison we have exactly first is positive or a negative second is a comparative degree a comparative and the third is a superlative now tell me when could i use the superlative when we are talking about only one person out of all then only can use the superlative so he is the best among all the students in the class he is the tallest among all the uh, candidates in the hall right i can say that no so i am talking about only one person out of all now comparative when we have only two candidates or when we have two items or when we have two entities right only when we are talking between two things then only we can use the comparative degree so positive or negative is always the first form of the degree for example if you take good what is the comparative form i can say when i am saying i am good can i say i am better look i cannot just use i am better look, why because i am not comparing with anybody i can use i am better than him so I, when i compare it is called a comparative degree so better is used when i have to use i am the best among all i should use so that are the three degrees of uh, comparisons we have so so good is a positive better is a comparative and best is a superlative so people if you observe over here i can eliminate some options what are they look here you are comparing few poets are at least as greatest first of all as greatest as tennyson can you say that definitely no no you cannot use as greatest as you could use as great as but not as greatest why because you are talking about few poets how can i say few poets are as greatest as tennyson so here similarly some poets are at least as greater as again can you use some poets everybody when you are telling about greater no greater i can say only can be used in between two people right so again as greater as is also a wrong one now tell me everybody similarly some poets are at least as greatest as tennyson again this is a wrong statement that i cannot use so the only point that i can use is a positive one as great as some poets are at least as great as tennyson so it's a positive term i'm talking about some poets 
there are some poets who are at least as great as Tennyson. Right? When I'm comparing two people, I'll say greater. For example, Shakespeare is greater than somebody else. Or I'm greater than Shakespeare. Right? That can be used. But because when you're comparing between two people. So here, the only term that can be used is great. Because you are just talking about the positive term, everybody. So that says option two must be that. And that's all for the video, everybody. Thank you for watching the video till the end. If you have liked the video, don't forget to press the like button. Also join our social media handles like Telegram group, Instagram page, and WhatsApp group. Links to all these handles are given in the description below. Thank you, guys.